Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Monday, August 30th in New York City, meaning one minute till the Tuesday crosswords. We have some congratulations in order on the leaderboard where both KFS Venta and Jay had a baby today. Not with each other. <laughs> Two separate babies. KFS Venta is the mom, so shout out to KFS Venta for turning a fast time and giving birth to a baby today. That's uh, an unmatched feat on my leaderboard so far, I think. And Jay is the dad, so I assume he had a lot of waiting around too. Anyway, big shout out, big congrats to both of you. The real accomplishment, of course, is that I came in first in 12 seconds. We had Andrew Cowboyhead emoji, who seems to always be going super fast these days. Stickers, The Glorp, Joe Obi, uh, KF Sventa, Jaywoo quite fast, Lydian to Nomad, Gordo AM, all under 30 seconds. Right after that, we had Marina Philly Fom, who is uh, killing it in a coding competition at the moment. Aero Tangos, Hoopla, Cape God, TR, Pandaguchi, Osmond, Lil Sun, E. Errol, Bill Boris, Ball Don't Lie, MHe17. We got PB Geckner, uncharacteristically toward the bottom of the list, but breaking one minute. Good job, PB Geckner. And we had Panda Doggy, A plus B, Antara Tuna, Marks, or Mar X, <laughs> J, Phil, and Namgo. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Tuesday crosswords. So here is a spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's get into it. Heck, those, uh, eagle, uh, arms, uh, rip, aha, uh -huh. and Pete's cheat. Pete's Coffee. I feel like maybe I've only ever seen them on the West Coast. There's one on UCSD campus. And there are several in Seattle. I don't know if they're West Coast based or not. Um, but if so, I, I could look it up, but I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> anyway, now for the main event, that the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Eric Bornstein today. Here is your spoiler alert. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, we are centered. Let's get into it. Metallic fasteners and envelopes, competitors of Ajax and Bonami. It's a cleaning product. This is a, is this a Yano? Is that what it is? Linguistic Quintet, A-E-I-O-U. It could be Eno, yeah. Turf, maybe Sod. That could be clasps. Roman philosopher. Wow, is it Seneca? I'll read it later. The Office Network. That was NBC, I believe. Cold and enlivening. Brisk. Ink slip. Cut, maybe? Mm, I don't know. Uh, this... Not sure. <laughs> Decorative container and go poof. Banish. Order of Butt. Brother of Cain. Seth. What else is new? Oh, we have another brother of Cain, I'm guessing. Seth Crossing Able there. Live here. Leans. Good snack for a pilot. Maiden, I guess? Is this Equal Rights Amendment, maybe? Ole, ole. Uh, good snack for a gangster. This is Comet there. Is this... I don't, some, I don't know. Something cakes? Money to tide one over. Sound of drinking. Maybe gulp? I don't know. After age. Shouldn't this be grow up? Run up as expenses. Yeah, right. Group with peacekeeping operations. NATO? Constant complainer. I was with Warren by birth. One named Singer. Sia, maybe? Yard sale caveat is as is. Big wigs. And rated one out of four stars. Easy. Behave here, maybe? This is Glee. Wing nuts? Is that uh, wing nuts? Probably yeah. That could be can there. Uh, new do. I think that's equal rights amendment. Leans. Okay. When a plane is due in ETA here, 
horned farm animal. Goat, maybe? It's Igor Stravinsky. Kia Sportage. Summer helpers say, in turn. I see she's Oki by birth. I beg to differ. Something cookies. Tough cookies? Uh, plethora, that's a nice word. Hens. Is it no, no, no? Yeah, that's alone there. Kind of drinking. Glug, maybe. Uh, bargaining something? Chips. Bargaining chips. VIPs there. Sassy. Point listen. Hark. Delivery option C section. Wow. Caribbean Island Northeast of Trinidad at any point ever. It's vaults. Something crackers. Firecrackers, I see. Uh, is it Eddie Murphy? Yeah, donut there with false shyness coily. That's ale. This is hay. Nah. Good snack for an optometrist. Eye candy? Yeah, I see. Gila monster, maybe. We Tobago. Uh, AFL CIO? You probably are speed to an Evite speeder catcher radar. You bat there, pulls over as a speeder stops. Sneers here. This is busy as a B. Libido, toe tap, data. Could be info. Demigod. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, probably. And oof here. Maui. I bet. Incur. It was NATO. And crab. Okay. So first of all, <laughs> I believe Cave is about to actually did have a C-section. Sorry if that's... Uh, was that private Cave is to... <laughs> it's very, um, very apropos. I will definitely tell Cave is to do the puzzle, if she hasn't already. Um, yeah. Anyway, the, uh, the theme here is reimagining phrases where the second word can be reimagined as a food and then cooling it wackily. So wing nuts, tough cookies, bargaining chips, firecrackers, and eye candy. Yeah, five themers, one fifteen letter themer. Candy, crackers, chips, cookies, and nuts. It's a pretty nice collection of snacks. Yeah. I don't know, this tough though? Like, okay, pilots are very associated with wings. Arsonists are very associated with fire. Optometrists are very associated with eyes. Are gangsters really that closely associated with toughness? Is toughness the, is gangster the, the occupation that's most affiliated with toughness? And then bargaining, sure. I feel like maybe I mean I don't mind I don't really mind the fill, but I feel like maybe we could have found more apt occupations here. Like this could be like a oh, flea market deal is pretty good. Sports agent or something. Toughness? Are gangsters really the toughest? I don't know. Okay, well. It's a it's a it's a it's a fine Tuesday theme, and theme actually did, did help in filling out this stuff. Um, I don't know if I said anything about it out loud, but let's see. Felt a bit slow again. Yeah, the Equal Rights Amendment. I believe that's what that is. Maybe I should look it up. Yeah, I didn't realize that it. Wasn't ratified. Was it not? Oh, I see. It was sent to the states for ratification. But it's never been passed, or has never been an amendment to the Constitution. Yeah, interesting to include as that as opposed to the time period or earned run average. We've got two brothers of Cain here. That's interesting. What's a Vestal Virgin? A virgin consecrate to Vesta and vowed to chastity. It's a, an ancient Roman thing. 
Vesta, the goddess of the hearth. Hmm. Didn't know about that. We have Brian Eno, a crossword stalwart for sure. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of these clues for a Tuesday like were a little bit vague, which made them not automatic fills. So that's why it felt a bit slow, at least for me. Yeah. It's 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 all it's all quite clean. They tend to be yeah, a Yano is a grassy plain in South America. <laughs> Also a city in Texas. Yeah, this is a thing that I'm pretty sure basically I only know from crosswords. It doesn't really come up in my life. But there is really nice. Okay, let's read this quote. Life is never incomplete if it is an honorable one. At whatever point you leave life, if you leave it the right way, it is whole. Very wise there. A tricky clue. We cut above new do. Yeah, I guess the pink slip means to fire. A, a butt as a, I mean, border as a verb. It could also be edge. It's a noun. And no, no, no. I don't know how I feel about no, no, no as fill. Or I beg. It's in the middle there. And, and I bet. We have I beg and I bet. That's interesting. I bet is better because that's like an entire phrase, whereas I beg is definitely a, a partial. Yeah, C section is actually quite nice because it starts out so interestingly. Um, two clues on speeder here. I guess that's interesting enough. Yeah. So other than just a little, a few little picadillos, in my opinion, pretty clean, and it's it's nice. It's a nice Tuesday theme, v very gettable as you're solving. Helps you fill it out. Fun to uncover. So thanks to Eric Bornstein. Let's see. It's a bit slow for me. Let's see the leaderboard though. We have stickers catching up to me. Stickers has uh, recently got me back into trying to, to do the letterboxed every day to try to get to um, a two-word solution to the letterboxed, which I've done the last three days. Three days ago, though, it was, um, we worked on it together, but we, we got it. So thanks to them. It's been fun. Going to try to keep it up, I guess. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.